Salutations, my friends. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in TWR, the Thousand Week Reich, in which we're playing as a beautiful Chiang Pai Shek. So, we've got a couple comments to go over, but we have triumphed in Vietnam. The road has been hard, but we've won, and China is triumphant. Vietnam has fallen to our armies, and the communists have been crushed. Though resistance continues across much of the country, and the cost has been great. We can begin to build a new Vietnam under our protection. Victory at last, we get political power, stability, and our little uh, Vietnamese Republic puppet has done great. Uh, the grand victory, my friends. Grand, grand victory, which we're going to consolidate power very soon. But do a couple comments. So, someone recommended in the comments yesterday, or in the last video. Oh, Warlord State. Oh, that's kind of different. Chen Cheng. Oh, I know he could probably become a leader eventually. But, um, that's interesting to see. A couple, like, pronunciation things, like, apparently, like, Q I N G, so, like, it's pronounced Ching, kind of, kind of ish. So there's that. Uh, actually, let's move our armies out of Vietnam. They probably don't have very good uh, resources right now. Yeah, let's do something like that. That's fine with me. And get the horses and tanks out of there ASAP. And go ahead and train when you guys are ready. My guys, you know it's lagging. Turkestan is having some problems in the with the civil war. That's okay. Uh, apparently, it's, ooh, Eastern Sea is very nice. Very, very nice. When these guys are done and ready, go ahead and train as well. That'd be nice. Oh, wow. Turkestan is really just... A, what the heck? Oh, my gosh. That is so disgusting. I don't think we can send... We can, send, we can have non-aggression back, but we can't send volunteers. That kind of sucks, but that's okay. Uh, so, like, like what we normally say is Shangzi. We might pronounce it like Shangxi, maybe? Guangxi? I don't know. I don't speak Chinese, so... If you guys could... Uh, there it is. Guangxi, maybe? To a degree? But happy 1953. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Other things, like, apparently... Another comment was, in the expansion area of the focus tree, if you want to, like... You can annex puppets, but... You can annex countries, but to release them as puppets, you have to completely annex them first. Um, that was just one of the comments from yesterday. But, we gotta go through some other stuff. Executive committee and disarray. We can still- Oh, we can actually do the Chinese economy. Ooh, seven days. That seems kind of bad. 56 days, stability, industrial development. We definitely want to make sure that we are doing pretty well here. Maintain the status quo. Natural resolve. Set a duration of three years for the Great Famine and modified by something. New land reforms. Regulate the food industry. Fight the famine. Oh god. But let's consolidate power first. The recent victory over Vietnam has done much for Chiang's prestige as leader of China, though there were those who doubted that this war could be a one. Their doubts have been silenced. Chiang can now further consolidate his rule over the party, the government, and the country, and it can at last carry out his planned agenda. So we took out the scapegoat. Oh god, look at the Great Famine. Ooh. That is not good. Monthly population, recruitable population factor, stability, war support. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's go and grab some vacuum tubing computing. That'd be very, very good. Yeah, that doesn't look so good. Uh, actually, we have you guys down here, too. Um, I'd like it if you all did that, but just do that instead. If you all need to train, go right ahead. We gotta make sure that China... China Navy number uno. I'm sure that's how they say it in the People's Republic of China in today's world, but, you know, whatever. Close enough. But we're doing pretty well, I'd say. You know, we beat back the Vietnamese... The commie Vietnamese. We've got the great, great allies... Who actually kind of copied our flag. I mean, they have a star. We got this little sun. But they have a star. But you know what? I think they like us. I think they really kind of like us. Oh, and there goes MacArthur inaugurated. What a show. Uh, which, like I think I said in the last episode, I play as MacArthur when I play as the United States in this mod, TWR, Thousand Week Right. And that was a lot of fun. I will play as them again someday, but what is going on? Exo the Dutch government. Okay. Netherlands, East Indies. Very cool. Here we go again. Voting no. Oh, ceasefire in the Indonesian revolt. Oh. Republic of Indonesia versus the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Well, we probably want to get rid of European, you know, imperialism. So I'm gonna say no. Ha! Just because we want to make sure that the European imperialists do not stay in Asia, <clears throat> Hong Kong, as well as Macau, maybe even the Republic of Korea. Uh, resolution failed. Great. Why did this pop back up? Mm, okay, then. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, we, and we ran out of fuel already. And there goes some of the Turkestani. Cool. Uh, are y'all done? You guys probably are done, yeah. I mean, they're not great. Uh, revolt in Baghdad. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Turkestan has been dissolved. Well, goodbye, Turkestan. Oh, uh, oh Kazakh. Oh, okay, then. I still gotta play as the Union of Soviet Social Re Socialist Republic. That sounds like a lot of fun. 
Actually, there's a lot of unique countries in this mod, which I'm really interested in applying, but Syrian National State, Consolidate Power, great. Great, great. Control the KMT. Huh. The Chinese Agenda, Crush the Commies, New White Terror, Political Power Gain, Less Stability, More Ideology, Drift Defense, Anti-Imperialistic Diplomacy, Chinese Agenda, The Great Republic, Diplomatic Decisions Have Been Unlocked, Cult of Personality, not bad. Uh, what is this? Weaken key opponents. That's not bad either. Expand the central army. Discredit the local cliques. Ooh, we could be go to limited conscription. Nice. Enables editing of all templates of this country and training or disbanding units belonging to them. This full democracy. The one family. Oh my goodness. Attention on the economy. This stuff looks really interesting. I mean, I want, I'm going to do this first though just because it only takes a week, but the Chinese economy. The chaos of the war fades from popular view. As factories rumble back to life and paddy fields are painstakingly restored from the broken earth, China itself must return to life and the dreams of the stirring dragon glitter with artificial light. The executive Yuan has issued a demand to modernize China industrially and to turn it into an industrial power in as quickly a period as possible. The road to modernity will be painful and sacrificial, but let us not waver. The martyrs of Xinhai die to bring a free and strong China into being and we shall stop at nothing but to fulfill the national destiny. Absolutely, my friends. We get 0.29 a day. And the Führer is dead. What? He is taught? Er is taught and the Chinese economy, the economic disaster. With a consistent shade of red in China's fiscal reports throughout the years, the economy has been devastated by the years of turbulence and has failed to reconstruct itself with the seeds of capitalism. Without any drastic reform, the economy of China will collapse under its own weight. Therefore, it is best for the government and its people's utmost interest to take necessary measures to, in saving our economy to ensure longevity of the Chinese nation. Oh dear. Well, that was interesting. 56 days, industrial development. I'd like that. Now, we have a choice. We can do contest American dominance or cooperate with the West. Hmm. Battleships, buy cruisers, buy subs, fleet and being, naval agreement with them, protect Asian maritime trade, N naval air supremacy. Oh, I like the characters. I really like characters. Characters? I like characters, but characters are good, as well as battleships, trade and addiction, introduce uh, cruisers, capital ship attack. Oh, well, that's interesting stuff. Uh, let's control the KMT. That seems a little bit more pressing for me right now. The KMT, China's ruling Nationalist Party, has long been weak or fragmented in the wake of the, wake of the f war. The party must be drawn back together and under Chiang's command. There can be no more weakness from within. The party must fall into line. No matter what. And hopefully Germany goes kaboom and we have a good time with it. German invitation. Well, Germany... Oh, Wagen has been assassinated. Oh, boy. Uh, and with Germany and the ROC... Ha having a really shaky relationship throughout the Pacific War. The relations between these two nations have recently normalized once again. Perhaps it's a move to lay the foundation of future Chinese or Sino-German relations. This gesture of good faith might be the much needed first step. Chiang Wai Kuo is willing to lead a small group of officials to attend the funeral, seeking to utilize this rare opportunity to visit Germany once again. Yeah, we're gonna show up. You know what? Why do they call it? I don't know. They call it like Chinese sometimes. They call it Sino, like the like the Sino-Japanese war like why is it when do we know when to use Chinese or Sino like is it is there a major difference I, I, I don't know man I really don't know the grand funeral of Mr. Adolf Schmidtle 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 Hitler's body will remain in Germania well until someone digs it up Mother March on Paris Jacques Doriot which uh, marched on Paris holy cow it was Ethiopia it was halted by officers the police stood down the Slavic Revolt. Oh my goodness. Oh, and there goes the world. That is actually really, really cool. Because I remember playing as this this character in, was it base game maybe, or Road to 56? Fascist France? Whoa. Divided military, strike agreements, war reparations, incompetent government, the second armistice. The Balkans are always on fire. Yeah, well, what else is new? Oh, well, my, I, you know, I think I said this yesterday too. Oh, there goes Ukraine. Whatever. Uh, I need to play the French. The French look so interesting. Darland wins the election. No guys. No guys wins the election too. Okay. Arlatan brothers promote the work of the Mar Marakal Marshal collapse of the Caucasus. Ah, uh, very far Eastern Europe. Gotta love it. Gotta love it a lot. Raise a division. We could raise a division if we really wanted to. We don't really need it, though. I mean, over here, uh, we can, you know, I might just try to go to early mobilization. Let's probably save our stuff for now. More paternal autocracy? I think so. DNA structure? Great. It was discovered. There goes the uh, Metal Regierung. Very cool. 
Still get 0.29 a day, but that's okay, and we're about to get this done as well. China gonna be number one by the time we're done here. It's just a matter of time. And as long as no one upsets Chiang Kai-shek. Small size of Europe has been painted red, cool. KMT. Alright, let's go back over here. So, I'm not sure what to do first. Planning speed, max plan- ooh! Chiang Ching Kuo, son of Chiang. Happy amateur, you get a lot more political power, even though you get rid of consumer goods factories, corrupted economy. Oh, oh, okay, so you, basically you don't get any more consumer goods, but you get stability, construction speed, economy, oh, let's get rid of that as fast as possible. I want to get, oh, I want to get rid of this too. Um, yeah, let's go down here, it's fiscal democracy. Of course, China's not yet really ready for a full democracy as dictated under the three principles of Sun Yat-sen. However, the people on some reformists demand some representation, and we will so give them what they want. Limited elements of democracy will be introduced while it will be kept weak enough for us to maintain ultimate power above the democratic process. And of course, these are very uncertain times. KMT. Authoritarian, authoritarian democracies are systems of government in which a strong and powerful leader is present. Unlike most authoritarian states, the ADs democratically elect this strong leader to be spearhead the country into a prosperous era or to be guided through a dark time. Authoritarian democracies rarely stay as democracies, as their leader will usually stage a political or military coup in order to stay in control. Well, that's cool. Well, maybe not for the people under them, but that's cool. End of Muscovine? I like Muscovine. I like... Just because I like the name, Muscovine. That sounds like a very nice name. Oh. Wait. We did this one? Oh. Yeah, I guess we did do that one. I don't know... I don't remember clicking on that, but I guess I did. Just because I was so enamored by the carrier size. I like big carriers, and I cannot lie. Uh... Von Ribbentrop has been declared the new... Okay. I don't think I've ever remembered that happening, but Von Ribbentrop, of all people? Okay. But yeah, I don't remember clicking on this, but apparently I did, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize that I would was hurting my consumer goods. It is what it is. Right now, we are still number three. We're a little less than uh, halfway to Germany. And never mind. Germany, it looks like it has a... Uh... Let's start the Burger Krieg. Oh, they still have a good GDP, though. What the heck? They're not... Cut off from each other or something? Hmm. That's a little bit ahead of time. Resource efficiency gain, military factory speed. Uh, let me get some more output. Let's post-war production line. Post-war line production, actually. Vacuum tubing. Very good, very good. There goes Armenia. We don't really care, though. We're not really involved. It is 53, so we could probably invest in some radio detection. But what about ships? Oh, my goodness. Yep, let's get some carriers. I said I wanted carriers, and we're going to get them. Actually, how long is it going to take? Uh, that's actually not not too bad. That's really not too bad. Improved worker conditions. You know what? Oh wait, we resolved the American question. Coup in Romania. Hello, changing leadership. Uh, what is this? As the political situation political situation stabilizes in China, a certain secretariat representative is also tangled in a mess of politics and must be taken care of. Gan Jihu affairs. Oh boy. Well, let's see what happens. So his affairs. John Jihu was Li Zongren's secretariat representative. During the Li Zonggren's brief reign as president, while Gan Main's task was to arrange Li Zonggren's schedule during his diplomatic visit, his position has granted him access into the secret underworld of the Chinese espionage on American soil. Subsequently, Gan has made numerous sides of Americans sympathetic to the Chinese operations. Now the political situation in China stabilized. The government must make a decision on Gan. Due to the fact that his connections to Li Zongren combined with his influence might spell troubles for the Chinese government in the near future. He's become a liability. Recall him. Oh. Hopefully America does not invade, because they could probably take us out as well. His defiance. With accusations of treason against Gan surfacing in Nanjing, Gan has realized the true motivations of the government's decision to recall him. While we have insisted that these were orders from the Chinese diplomatic service, Gan refused to comply, purposely stalling communications and hiding his tracks. Well, you son of a gun. Why? We just want to love you. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and grab some more stability, maybe. Yeah, we might as well. We're at peace, hopefully, for now. So. Wow. Effects of our current stability, minus 20% political power, minus 50% factory and dockyard output. Holy cow. A report from the CIC. Connections within the Commerce International of China have informed the government that Gan has made several attempts at securing a niche in the business wing of the CIC. While the CIC was aware of the Gan's current status as a national suspect, they were unable to harshly act due to the limitations within the United States. After these major setbacks, Gan is now surrounded on all sides by political enemies. Yet, our operatives and informants aren't able to fully grasp his next plan. Nowhere to go, you gosh darn bastarino. Oh, a fistful of democracy. Love it.
one family? Yes, please. In the past, China has been dominated by strong and significant families. The old big four families of China consisted of Chiang, Sung, Kong, and Chen. Now as Chiang expands his control, the Chiang family will be brought to the forefront, above all other three. There will only be one family above all. Cool. Oh, I'm pretty sure I clicked that. Cannot be cancelled manually. The mod really likes that. Like, you can't cancel things manually. It seems kind of weird, but that's okay with me. You know, it happens. Gon's last stand, surrounded by political enemies on all sides. He is desperate to secure safety on American soil. Reports suggest that Gon has teamed up with the disgraced Lieutenant Mao Bangzu, drafting a cunning plan to outflank the common enemies in both the diplomatic service and the CIC. Oh dear. The Free British Republic led by Charles de Gaulle. Big ol' sad de Gaulle. The Slovakian resignation. Southern uprising. Here come the Poles. Here come the Poles. And Hungary. Or, or uh, Romania, I mean. Just shows how weak the Germans are. Wow. Hey, the National Republic of Ukraine's up. War reaches the fjords, except towards something larger. Uh-oh. Toronto courts are getting violent. The Malgon papers. Those god darn yanks. Oh, no. That is not good. Germans crushing Ukraine. Cool. And they're led by Bandera here. Wait, Bandera. Stepan... Ba he sounds familiar. Stepan Bandera, huh? A divided party. Cult of nationalism. Disorganized militia. Eastern Spring. Huh. Okay, well, good luck. Good luck. Wow, that really is. Chinese assets frozen. During the American government's decision to target the affiliated Chinese businessmen, members of the Commerce International of China, are being actively persecuted. Moreover, the executive branch has made the decision to freeze our members' banks' assets, attempting to freeze further financial transactions of foreign geopolitical threats. The Chinese government has issued a furious condemnation V, comparing the United States' actions to robbery, imperialistic behaviors. We lose political power. Oh, that's that. Our assets under attack. Large attacks performed by Americans on our intelligence and business networks have fo forced their hand. Senior members of our administration is urging leader Chiang Kai-shek to take actions against such clear aggression from Western powers. However, we must now decide on how we should react to such aggressions. Balance approach. Um, trade relations. An end to weakness. You know what? We need another scapegoat, and we're gonna ramp up our uh, Cold War sensibilities here. Ah, yes. Unification of Greater Romania and the Chinese-American Cold War. Cool. An end to weakness. As relations further deteriorate between China and the U.S., a mutual expulsion of diplomats and formal attacks on businesses of both sides have occurred. While both nations have condemned one another, further diplomatic actions have been planned, ensuring that signs of past friendship have fully been extinguished. We stand against imperialism. Hey, we've got some... Uh, war support. That's not bad. That doesn't look good, though. We got famines, we got martial laws, but as long as the people think that we have a really bad enemy that we gotta be prepared for, that's okay. And there goes the Ukraine once again. And we're stuck with only 10. Big sadness. Well, let's see if the Toronto Accords. Oh, SS Control in Denmark. A dark trap. Well, that's actually kinda cool. Return of Brazilian stability. Okay. And they went to Fort de Banat. There goes Oslin. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen this before. The best. Unremarkable industry. Confusing and uncertain government. Wow, that looks really bad. There goes the general government. CCF victory in Canada. Horthy resigns. And what do you have over here? Denmark. Hanneken's Junta. Or Junta. Best Schutzstaffel. That seems kind of cool. Conscript the Danish Legion. Work with the SS. Join the fight. That sounds like fun. People's Revolution. Cool. Union State of Norway, huh? Oh, and they're all fighting alone. Wow, you got that chin, man. Say it, one family. All in the family, my friends. Steel Chen Cheng's work. Well, let's not do that. Let's weaken weak key opponents. Within the KMT, there are those who have secretly or over overtly opposed many of Cheng's actions. While we do not possess or the strength to destroy them outright, like with the communists and other traitors, through political maneuvering, their strength can be curbed and their influence weakened. Oh, we actually get more authoritarian drift. I didn't realize that. That's kind of cool. Because I definitely want to do this, change mobilization law, and we can finally an edit these divisions, which I really, really want. Now, I'm not sure that we... Do we... Is, I'm sure there's got to be a way for China to split into a civil war, right? Oh, you're a different leader. Yan Zishan. Or Shishan. He's not a man that can be pleased with power and wealth. What he truly desires is that he can improve the livelihoods of his countrymen. With infrastructure, farms, and quality education. He does not have a specific ideology, though. He has plans... His plans revolve around stability and prosperity. So he's, an active to, he's willing to enact progressive reforms for the betterment of his people. He's not really fond of anything or any form of broader political scheming. 
with his focus being his province and the people which he serves. Oh, he seems like a nice guy. Uh, so Yan over here. The Shangji faction, maybe? I don't know. Chen Cheng we saw earlier. Uh, is there anyone else around here? Warlord State? I'm probably Yunnan. That's got somebody, right? Yep. Luhan. Uh, ooh. There's the regional power. And the end of the Hungarian Kingdom. Which always seems like it happens. Which kind of sucks. Why can't the Hungarian Kingdom just live? Yunnan soldiers have gained good relations. Or reputations. Because of Prague. Uprising. Good reputations in the minds of fellow Chinese soldiers and their enemies. This famously influenced by the French presence in Indochina. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that. Cool. And Germany looks like a mess. Oh, there goes... Okay. Okay, of course they would split it up between those two. And... Transnational Authority of Norway. Hello there, Rocky. Yeah, I would hate to be the Greater German Reich right now. They're led by... Von... Of all people... Ribbentrop. Why Ribbentrop? Even the Swiss have now risen up. Oh, Spells, Goebbels, Council, Schutzstaffel, Bormann, Wehrmacht, and Reichsmarschall. Huh. Emergency Wehrstaat, you are led by von Manstein. And the Schutzstaffel led by Daddy Himmler. Which sounds very weird to say. Hmm. Himmler. I'm not sure what to talk about him, though. Himmy. Oh, Henri Aguisson. We can keep opponents. Good. Expense the Central Army. Large parts of China's army still stands, or remains, de facto under the control of the warlords. This is obviously a threat to the Central Government's power. We must expand the Central Army that is under Chiang's direct control we, to make sure that the warlord takeover or rebellion is not a threat in the future. That would be a tremendous thing to do. Even though we could use more political power. Yeah, it's not looking great. But at least we got rid of the corrupted economy, right? Harsh inflation. Ooh, that is not good. Slovenian declar Declaration, Slovenia. Benelux Revolution. What is a Slovenia? Widespread poverty, harsh inflation, the Great Famine, backward society, left wing crackdown. Uh, what else we got? Hey, at least we're a UN member. That's nice. And we can key opponents, which is uh, it's not good for a political power now, but it's okay. Slowly becoming more authoritarian Democrat? Uh, authoritarian Drift. Post-war production line, very nice, very nice. We can't do that yet, so let's grab some countrywide improvements. Yeah, that's a uh, maybe. Oh, it's 49 days, radio detection. That, that that seems pretty nice. I'll be honest. That is a nice Benelux. That is actually a very very nice Benelux. Uh, not really unique focus tree, but that's okay. That's we don't always have to have one. How about uh this Yugoslavian state? Oh no, whoops, independent state of Croatia. Uh, that's actually a little different. Yeah, they actually have a unique focus tree. Maybe I'll play as Croatia someday. That'd be kind of cool. Reality can become harsh. A dream come true. The greater Croatian state. Ooh. Down with the Hungarian border. Support Croat immigration. From, from, their, from Bosnia to Zagreb. Croatianize Bosnia. Ooh. Carrier holes, very nice. Let's grab the next level as well. Just so we have at least a level 50 carrier. At least in production, hopefully. Very soon. Because we're making destroyers, they're not bad. Which is not really ideal, to be honest with you. Come on, guys, go ahead and train. That'll be fine with me. Oh, great, a German wreck is coming back. I guess Prague is falling, which is kind of nice. Yeah, Schusthoffel's definitely having some problems with these guys over there. But hopefully we can edit our divisions now. Uh, let's see. Eternal president, not bad. Uh, political power. Revolutionary communism. We'll do that a little later. Let's do something over here. Let's stabilize the economy. The communists were, of course, saboteurs bent on breaking the nation apart and turning it to the will of the foreign masters. But they were right about one thing. Our national inequity will, be, will destroy us if we do not choose to address it. Land reform has pressed millions into homelessness and desperation. National presses... Uh, ceaselessly condemn the government for our failures to help the peasantry. There's even talk of rebellion in the outlying provinces. If we're ever to de truly to develop the means to stand on our own feet, we must ensure the ground below us is stable first. Land reform is in China's cards, or we will soon find the deck running dry in our hands. Which will not be very good, but at least we're getting more fuel. And speaking of things that use fuel, what about planes? Guys, you've done a great job. Just kind of hang out. Norilsk, let's do it. Baratia, go ahead and train. Until you're all experienced. Good luck with that, though. Good luck. 
Oh, radio detection. Very nice. Let's get some radio. Uh, radar stations actually naval targeting stuff. What do we get radio for? Ah, there it is. That's what I want. Uh, is there anything better we could do with our land doctrine, maybe? Or naval doctrine? Or anything around here? Casemate secondary batteries? Sure. Why not? I'm really focusing on a uh, navy. Because if, if the Americans can't land here in China, then... Well, to prevent that from happening, we need a good navy. And while the American navy is probably just god tier, actually, it's pretty good, I think. Not the best, but it's pretty good, if I remember correctly. We gonna need a big old fleet for ourselves. Which means we gonna need some refineries, because I don't think we got a lot of fuel in China. Yeah, we, we don't have that much fuel. Kinda sucks, not gonna lie. But that's okay. At least we're not Germany right now. The moderate coup within the Wehrmacht Junta. Or Junta. Oh, Hans Spidel. You always seem to be a problem. Spidel, Spidel, Spidel. No matter what mod you're in. He always seems to be a problem in everyone's side. Oh, we're doing really well on guns, though. We need more anti-tank. Plenty of guns need more anti-tank, huh? Good enough for them. See what we can do about that. The Reichs Berserker Westland. Cool. How's this coming along? Hey, we actually built another civilian factory. Great. Sikorsky declared general regent. Good luck, Poland. We can keep on it. Good luck. I got a lot of manpower. That's a lot more than I thought they would have. That is a lot more. Oh, at least we're getting more uh, naval XP too. Ah, Gottenland. I love Gottenland. Oh, Heydrich. What is that? Gottesha Lufthansa? Ooh. Strange branch of the Lufthansa. Operating solely in Gotland. Handling flights from European cities to Gotland. Stabilizing the economy. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, I would like to address this if we can, but... Has completed steel. Oh. I thought, wow. Oh. It can happen here. Maintain the status quo. We have to be liberal fascist. He, Yin Quin, Quin, Yin Quin, has to be the leader. Steel has work? Seems kind of problematic, but I guess I have to get, to get to the other stuff so we can get rid of the famine. Chen Cheng, the intellectual that he is, has designed various proposals for reforms to China's political system. While we cannot risk him gaining too much power, it would not be too hard to quietly copy his ideas and rebrand them as our own. Cheng's new reforms can take inspiration of others, yes. Sounds like a great thing. Come on, guys, explode or do something. I want to see Israel do something here, or Jerusalem. And there goes Denmark. Oh, wow, the German Reich is actually doing really well. You know, they keep getting pushed further and further west from the, uh... Emergency Werkstatt. Oh, oh, there goes them. Looks like we got a wee bit more army XP. Very nice. Anti tanks looking a little better. Fighters looking not great, but we're working on them. Infantry equipment. Oh, can we edit these yet? No. Hmm. I thought it said that we could, though. It, did it lie to me? Oh, we didn't do it yet. Duh. It didn't lie to me. I just haven't done it yet. 63 days. That's a very odd time. Why? Is it, I guess. 63 days specifically so that um ooh, North Sea Naval Exercises that things line up appropriately with what they with the, what the devs want in terms of uh planning for what happens in this mod so that's fine with me fine with me case me secondary batteries cool anything else started secondary batteries uh, I guess we could do that too that's fine with me I just want to make sure when we get these carrier holes we've got whatever we need for them maybe except for radar but that's okay yeah, the Benelux are not taking it right now. I don't know who's going to win. I'm, I'm going to assume the Schutzstaffel, the SS, is probably not going to win. But I could be very, very much wrong. Hey, we actually made some uh, some more factories. Yeah, go ahead and make a few more for now. 50, there you go. Just one more. One more. How about that? Actually, we can still build up where... Treaty of Honolulu, a new nation enters the stage. Cool. Two, five. Ooh. We can put them here on the coast. Five, six. That's not bad. Six right there. Anywhere else? Six. Yeah, that's not bad. Very nice. We're going to do that. Build up the infrastructure, too. Uh, discredit the local cliques. Just as we strengthen central control, we must also weaken the provincial cliques across the country. Local cliques exercising extreme autonomy have caused much of the weakness of China in the decades past. And this must come to an end. Local groups must be discredited, and then all the provinces of China must be brought into line under the central government and Chiang. 
We must achieve this. Very, very much should do this. Baratia does not look good. Who's leading this group here? They are paternal autocrats. Walter Bog Chizgek? Sizgek? Huh. Central Russian family makes sense. Famine. Unorganized warlords. Workers Red Army. Fatherland under God. Cool. With the Gulag Revolution, a new semi theocratic society has been forced in Siberia. Is this a divine mandate for Siberia? Oh, I hope so. That sounds like a lot of fun. An infrastructure effort? Oh, there it goes. It's gone. Plus 50% sounds really nice in my book. Really, really nice. Ooh, Moscow Red Army. So we got the carrier, led by Vors Uparsk. Uh, we're gonna have to wait to do whatever we want with. Oh, what is that? Huh. Naval development, huh? We want the carrier. We want some cruiser hulls. Not bad. Not bad. Max speed, a little bit less. We're really focusing on the navy right now. Even though I might be, should, I could potentially be focusing on other things, but that's okay with me. That is definitely okay. I'm just so, like, I want to know who's going to win here. But hold on. Who owns this? Oh, that's a province? 4,000 people live there, and that's a province. Wow. Government of National Salvation. Albania. Oh, and there they go. Shootstoffel is back in business, and they only have one front to deal with. Basically one front. Metz is not looking good, though. Woo! I would not... Oh, uh-oh. They got some... Oh, boy. Oh, that German Reich is probably not doing good being a sandwich right now. This reminds me of the Carolingian Empire or something like that. The Congo conflict? Africa has a voice. Did you know that? And second inter-party government. Uh, in Ireland. Cool. Invite Yan Zishan. An offer promises of peace. No, we don't like that. Chinese diplomacy, anything else down here? Uh, well, let's invite him. Let's see what happens. I have no idea. An offer form. So, overseeing the administration of his beloved Shanxi province, Yan Zishan previously served in the central government in the late 40s. His philosophy of development and bettering the lives of his fellow countrymen has turned Shanxi into a modern province, and this amount of insight will be highly beneficial to our government's future policies. Therefore, we have invited him to take up a more important role in the position in the central government, hoping that his ideas and experience can be expanded beyond the boundaries of Shanxi, benefiting the whole of China. Welcome aboard. Go, cool, he'll work for us. Hopefully. Oh, crap, we lose a lot of stability. I didn't realize we'd lose 25%. Um... Please don't tell me there's going to be warlords rising up. Please don't tell me that. Cool. So that's done. Uh, we might be able to focus on other stuff now. Better artillery. Because why not? If that's the case, we'll do our tried and true. Maybe make some of this. A little bit of deck armor doesn't hurt. Secondary batteries. We're going to grab some more hangar space. we got to get some better fighters as well. Get some more hangar space. Anti-air 1. We have no radar for now. Whatever. Carry engines 2. All right, not bad. Not bad. There you go. Cool, we can actually make it. Congo's gone. Well, it's going to take until 68 to make it, which... I don't know. Until 68, that's that's a bit extreme in my book. we got to get some fighters, too, so we can actually use them. Great. Discredit the local cliques. Can we edit our divisions? Bingo! Yes, we can. That's not looking too bad, actually. Pao Bing... What the heck is this? Um... Probably just gonna roll with that division. Yeah, that seems everything else seems like it's gonna be costing us too much to really edit. <sighs> I like the artillery, but we're gonna go with this group here. And do we still not get Okay, so we're good on army XP, so we can probably get some more, which is very, very nice. Let's go and get rid of that. That's fine with me. And we'll finish off with one more. Focus. Chinese agenda, support, more war support. Uh, political power would not be bad. Let's go over here though. We'll do new land reforms. We have a plan for the salvation of the nation. Massive structural land reforms that will restructure the grassroots economy of rural China, turning the wheel of industry to the purposes of e equity. We've not, of course, confirmed what that plan is. That is the job of the executive Yuan, or Yan, but the workers of China can rest assured that their toil is not in vain. Over the coming months, we will wrestle with the questions that avoid the the nation, and we are de determined to come up on top. I hope that this does not result in a greater famine, but regardless, we must end the episode there. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when we begin to get rid of the Great Famine. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!